Have you tried different methods online and haven't succeeded? Or tried purchasing product after product, believing these online gurus have the secrets you're looking for, but they never work? Hi there, I'm Suzanne Stoddard of Legitimate Affiliate Training, and today let's talk about affiliate marketing for beginners. I'd like to explain what it is, how it works, and then get into the actual steps of beginning your online journey. If you like my video, please click like and consider subscribing to my channel for more helpful videos and honest product reviews. And please click on my link below for free training for beginner affiliate marketers. This will give you access to a detailed step-by-step -step program for a safe and successful start to your online business. So how many products have you bought, hoping to get rich quick? I bought quite a few before getting the real help I needed. This is the first important thing I want to help you with, shiny object syndrome. If you're caught in that cycle, I can help. I've made a video for you about just that, to help you realize what these vendors are doing to beginners and how to escape the madness. I'll leave the link for you below, okay? So what is affiliate marketing? Take a look at what Pat Flynn has to say about this. This is his website, Smart Passive Income, and he is a very successful online marketer and knows his stuff. And I really like his definition. He says, affiliate marketing is the process of earning a commission by promoting another product or service. You find a product, promote it to others, and earn a piece of the profit for each sale that you make. So in other words, when you help another company generate sales, you get a cut. That's pretty cool, hey? Now take a look at one of my articles here that I made on my blog. And I created this little diagram just to help you see how it works. So you are the affiliate, okay? And you promote the product. And when a customer comes to your link, likes what they see and clicks on your link, the link sends them to the creator of that product or service, buys it from them, and then the merchant turns around and pays you a part of his profits in the form of a commission. This is probably the easiest way for a beginner to start earning money online. It's easy to get into and possible to start with a small budget. Some will tell you that you can start for free, but I wouldn't recommend that simply because a couple of third-party tools will make all the difference to your business. But don't worry, it can be done for as low as $50 a month. Remember, this is a business and investing in yourself is an important aspect of owning your own piece of online real estate. It's also crucial to have the proper mindset. Regardless of all the gurus who tell you that all you need is this push button app or whatever it is they're selling, a secret loophole, there's no such thing. What you truly need is a long-term vision for your business. It'll take time to reach your goals, but with persistence, patience, and hard work, you will have created for yourself a nice monthly income that can be scaled up continually. So how does this actually work? The nicest part about affiliate marketing is that you don't have to concern yourself with customer support. You don't have to create anything. You don't have to deal with shipping, returns, complaints. The product creators deal with all of that for you. So let's take a look at the parties involved with affiliate marketing so you can understand your role as well as others, okay? So I created a design here for you to look at. And let's start with the affiliate. Okay, that's this guy here and that's you. When you decide what kind of product you want to promote, you would find a merchant who sells that product or you might go directly to an affiliate network. This is a platform that a lot of vendors will use and they act as the middleman. Either way, you're requesting an affiliate link to that product and when you're granted that link, you'll create a promotion. You'll send that promotion to your different traffic sources or people visiting your website or visiting your YouTube channel. And if they like what they see, they will click on your link, buy the product, and once the product is sold, the merchant or the platform can tell who sold that product. Okay, they keep track of everything. And then they will send you part of the profit in the form of a commission. And that's how you get paid. Now there are other ways to earn commissions as well, such as sending the merchant traffic 
or asking the person who clicks to do certain actions. It could be as simple as filling out a form or even just the click. But those things can be tackled after you've gained more experience. Now you have a choice in how you want to promote these products. But the easiest way for a beginner is to create content. That could be in the form of an article on your website or blog, or a video on YouTube. When you've gotten approval from a merchant to be their affiliate, they will also often provide you with advertising material that you can use to help your promotions. So the next thing we should talk about are the merchants. The merchants are the product creators. It could be anyone from Nike to small vendors selling digital products, a huge company or a small business. Without these merchants, there would be no affiliate marketing. They're the ones not only providing the products, but sharing their profits with the affiliates. Many of these merchants depend on their affiliates to drive traffic to their websites to generate more sales. It's a great way for them to get free advertising. You see, any advertising costs are on you, the affiliate, if you so choose. Many more experienced affiliates will use paid advertising, such as Google Ads. But the only cost the merchant has is the percentage of the profit it pays out to its affiliates. The next party is the network, if there is one. Remember on our diagram here? We just talked about the merchant, but there are also affiliate networks that you can go directly to. So who are these networks? If you're dealing directly with the merchant, then there may not be an affiliate network involved, but if there is, it's because the merchant has chosen to have an intermediary or a middleman to add a level of protection for the merchant. These networks, such as ClickBank, Commission Junction, and even Amazon, take on many responsibilities, such as tracking the sales and handling any payments to the affiliates. You will usually find many merchants in many different niches on these platforms. And creating a free account on these platforms will allow you to ask for your affiliate approval from the merchant directly on the site. And finally, there'd be no commissions if not for the consumers, right? So who are the consumers? Simply put, they're the ones performing the certain actions that the merchant wants done. We'll keep this simple and assume they've just bought a product or service that you're promoting. Every year, more and more people are shopping online. Living out in the country, I personally do a lot of online shopping. And you may not realize it, but oftentimes you're purchasing something through an affiliate link. So everyone's a winner. The merchant gets their sale, the customer gets their product, and the affiliate gets their commission. So how does a beginner start? Before I get into the steps to start your online journey, I want you to know what to expect, okay? As I said in the beginning of this video, there's no such thing as a push button or secret loophole to make you easy and fast money. That's simply a sales gimmick to make those dishonest gurus money. Any successful online business takes time and persistence. It's not hard, but it takes time. If you can have a long-term vision for your business and don't just quick because you're not seeing those early results, you'll be among the 10% of affiliate marketers who succeed. It's very important to stick to one method for at least six months to start seeing results, okay? Unfortunately, many people quit before that due to impatience or shiny object syndrome. But each time you change methods, you reset the clock. You've just wasted all that time you've put in and you're back to square one. So there are four basic steps you need to take to start affiliate marketing. Now these are the basic steps that everyone needs to take, but don't worry about the details. I have an awesome free course for you that goes into much more detail. If you want to skip ahead, just click on my link below to get access, okay? So step number one, choose your niche. This can often be a stumbling block for most beginners, but it doesn't have to be. Think of a niche like this. A niche is a group of people who are all interested in a particular subject. It could be dieting, gardening, pets. Start with something you're interested in. It's much easier to invest your time in something you love or want to learn, right? Start by writing down three or four broad ideas based on your interests. 
This could be things like pets, technology, or mine, affiliate marketing. You don't have to be an expert in what you choose. You don't even need a lot of experience, though this would make it easier. All you need is the desire to learn more about it, and in time, with your research, you'll become an expert. Now, the second thing you need to do is to niche down, which means finding a micro niche within the broad topic. For instance, under pets, you can narrow it down to weight loss for your dog or healthy cat treats. Or for technology, it could be wireless Sony headphones or photography with iPhone 10s. The biggest reason why you want to niche down is because you won't be able to compete in the broader topic. If you choose pets, you'll be competing with the big boys like PetSmart or huge companies that dominate this niche. But choosing a micro niche gives you a much better opportunity to become an authority in that one smaller topic. Does it have less traffic? Yes but the traffic that you do get will be much more targeted, meaning your customers are looking for a specific solution to a specific problem, and you'll be able to provide that for them. The training program I refer you to will show you how to make sure that your niche is profitable and has enough traffic to sustain it, okay? Now, step two is build your website. Many gurus will tell you that you don't need a website but I don't agree. A website is necessary to host your content and you need to have a home for all your articles or your landing pages, even your email opt-in forms. Not only that, it looks much more professional, not only to your visitors, but to the affiliate programs where you're applying for affiliate link. Many require you to have a website. You will need a domain name, hosting, and a website builder to get your website online. Thankfully, most services have everything you need in one place. The first thing you need is a domain name. This is the name of your business. It's what's typed into the search bar to direct people to your website, known as your URL. This isn't expensive. It averages about $12 to $15 a year. There are many domain registries online, such as GoDaddy. Let's take a look at what theirs looks like. Now, this is a convenient place to search and see if your domain is available. Notice the bar at the top of the page here. So all you have to do is type in any idea that you have to see if it's available. Now, you don't have to be that specific with a domain name. Uh, for instance, it doesn't have to be healthycattreats.com. In fact, if your name is a little broad, you'll have the opportunity to build out your business down the road. So let's try something like, well, here's one, catlove.com, and let's see if it's available. Now, see, it's already taken. The .coms are the most popular, and you'll find that they do get taken up pretty quickly, and they will offer you other alternatives. And there's a lot of great ones that, that sound good, like catlove.pet, for instance. But I highly recommend you stick to .com. It's just easier to remember, and it's a little more professional looking. Um, you shouldn't use any hyphens or numbers, underscores. Okay, make sure that your name is easy to spell and that it rolls off the tongue. That way, it could be easily remembered by your visitors. Oh, and don't make these mistakes. I found this article on the 11 worst website names ever. Now, you have to remember that when you're putting your name in, in a domain, you're not using commas or leaving spaces, anything like that. So you have to consider what it looks like when it's all in one word. Take a look at this one. This company, Who Represents? But when they make a domain name, it looks like Whore Presents. Or... Teachers talking comes out like teacher stalking. Okay, so some of these things can be pretty embarrassing. Okay, this one here for the Cook Islands, their local domain is co.ck, but of course it's read differently. Okay, IT scrap comes out as it's crap, <laughs> or this one, um, speed of art comes out speedo fart. So that's what I mean. You have to consider what it looks like when it's all put together. Now, the next thing you'll need is web hosting. And there are many sites online, such as SiteGround, Bluehost, and even GoDaddy. 
Let's take a look at GoDaddy, seeing how we were there. But I want you to know that you shouldn't always look for the cheapest hosting. Like take a look here. This is in my Canadian prices, so US will be a little bit less. But the web hosting is $5.99 a month. But that doesn't include your security certificate, which you should have. And if you want your own dedicated email, there's an additional cost for that. And those are two things that you really do need to have for your business. And also keep in mind that the $5.99 a month is the promotional for the first year. The following year, it bumps up to $11.99 a month when you renew. So you need to keep all of those things in mind when you're searching. I highly recommend you use SiteGround. This is a very good company and they have great customer support. And notice that the cheapest plan, the startup plan, which is all you need to start with, is $6.99 a month for your first year. It goes up to $14.99 a month when you renew. But notice that you get your free security certificate. You get a free email. You get daily backup. You, you know, there's a lot of things included for the $14.99 that you wouldn't have gotten at GoDaddy and not without paying a lot more money. So now it's time to actually build your website. And most hosting platforms have free website builders. I highly recommend that you choose a WordPress website because they offer the most free themes and plugins. And down the road, if you ever want to move it, WordPress offers the most flexibility. Most website builders are easy to use and quick to set up. And if you've purchased your domain name with the same service, it's even quicker. SiteGround has its own domain registry and same as with GoDaddy, you type in your name and it'll show you if it's available. And there start at $15.95 a year. So this is what I mean by it's easy to do it all on one platform. You can purchase your domain there, they will host your site and then they have the website builder built in. But don't worry about all the finer details. As I said, the free course I linked to you below will walk you through everything step by step. So now you have your foundation ready. Now it's time to start creating content. As a beginner, the best content you can create is either writing articles for your website or creating videos for your YouTube channel. Either way, you still need your website. You've probably heard other marketers tell you to start your business by immediately picking a product to promote and sending traffic to it, but they've got it backwards. For one thing, your website or your YouTube channel is brand new and has nothing on it. And Google or YouTube doesn't even know you exist yet. And you have no traffic coming to you because they don't know you exist. That's why it's no use trying to get approved for affiliate links yet. That plus the fact that many merchants won't approve you until you have a more established online presence. The most important thing you can do for the first few months is to simply add content, rinse and repeat. You need to start writing articles or making videos about your niche. Think about the problems the people in your niche have and offer them a solution. Focus on putting your audience's needs first and show empathy. If you do this, the search engines will start to take notice because they see you building up your own audience. So what's the next thing? Finding your traffic. This, of course, is an important step, right? I mean, if you have no traffic, you get no sales. Traffic comes in two forms, free or paid. Paid traffic is great, but not until you have much more online experience. This type of traffic can get expensive if you don't know what you're doing. And it requires much testing to be successful. I also want to mention solo ads here. Many vendors will try to convince you that these are the way to get fast sales. But what they don't tell you is all the money you lose in the process. Solo ads are dangerous for beginners and I've created a couple of videos for you to explain why, okay? I'll leave those links below for you too. Needless to say, beginners should start with free traffic because it's, well, free. Free organic traffic is the safest route for newbies because there's very little risk. This is what your blog or YouTube channel will bring in. The training program below will teach you all about keyword research and SEO 
These are important because this is how you can get noticed sooner. And the sooner you get noticed, the sooner you can make sales. Okay, so now it's time to get some affiliate links. Now that you've spent some time giving your readers helpful advice, it's time to start promoting the products that can help them even more. Search for products in your niche by going to Google and typing things in like healthy cat treats plus affiliate program. And look what comes up. Lots and lots of things. So let's just click on this first one. Okay, they talk about it a bit. They list all the cat affiliate programs that they found. Let's check on the second one. Here's some more that they found. And this is for all pets, not just cats. You'll find many products this way by doing just that, by typing in your keyword and affiliate program. You can also check out the affiliate networks like the ones I talked about earlier. This one here is ClickBank. This is inside my account. And if you click on Marketplace, you will see all the different niches that they have in here. Now, of course, cat care isn't one of them. So let's type it in and see what we find. So here are all the things that come up about cats. So these are all products that you can promote. Okay, bearded dragon. Okay, well, that's not a cat or ferrets. So they don't have too many in the cat care. If we erase care and just put cat, we come up with a few more. And the nice thing about ClickBank is that you don't have to get approval to promote 99% of the products in here. All you have to do is insert the nickname they give you when you create your account, insert it in the affiliate link, and away you go. Now, of course, there's a lot more to learn as you gain more experience to build out your business and scale it up. But because this video is affiliate marketing for beginners, we'll leave that for another video. As I've already mentioned, my link below will give you access to a very detailed and thorough program. And it's free. Your instructor is my personal mentor and he's condensed his years of experience into an easy to follow step-by-step -step program that's safe for beginners. He has you keep things simple with the most basic tools. There are no upsells to make things work and no dishonest hype or BS. That's the first thing that attracted me to Philip. I was so tired of being lied to by dishonest marketers. So thanks so much for staying with me to the end. I truly hope you found my video helpful and giving you some direction for your own online business. If you enjoyed my video, please click like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm continually adding videos about helpful marketing advice as well as honest product reviews. So until next time, cheers.